What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Burlington, Texas at Palm Harbor Homes. We're getting ready to check out the Wellington 64 by Palm Harbor. This is, uh, it's model KH28643W. It is a three bedroom, two bath, and it sits inside approximately 1,749 square feet. It's a lot of stuff happening in this home. Uh, it, when, as soon as you walk in, you got like a, kind of like a little mini foyer. Oh man, snakes. Texas, y'all got snakes? Where do all the rattlers hang out? <laughs> Uh, I'm in shorts today. Anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying, but the inside is, is super nice. They've got a bunch of homes here. I always love touring Palm Harbor. They're, they're super fun. Love this baby blue. We've been seeing a lot of this baby blue color today uh, in various different ways. I saw a single wide. Oh, you can see it over there through the trees. That one right there. Oh my gosh, gorgeous single wide. It's got this baby blue color on it with... Uh, like a, a beige bottom, maybe like a, a brownish color. Super nice. Anyway, I'm sure you're wondering about the price as well. Uh, this home currently is approximately $180,000. So not too shabby at all. It also has two tones up here. I didn't even realize that. So you got the darker blue, and then you've got these nice little columns with the white trim going all the way around the windows. Now, if you do want more information on this home before we get inside, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right. So when you first walk in, this one has a nice little foyer right here, which I like a lot. Kind of breaks it up. You're not looking straight into the kitchen. You're not really looking, well, I guess you kind of are when you come in, but looking into the living room. But gorgeous living room like that. Fireplace, ooh, that thing is, it's calling my name. But you got this fun little window right here looking out onto the porch area. I just think it's a neat little touch, you know what I mean? But then great big living room. Nice little fireplace with the stone surround. Got the wood mantle, stone hearth. Now, there is a spot up above the fireplace to mount the TV if you wanted to. Or you put like a little picture or something over there. There's some space over here too that you could put a little TV stand, a little entertainment center. Keep it nice and clean up above the, the fireplace. And then from there, you come into the kitchen. And there, now this is a split bedroom uh, floor plan. So there are secondary bedrooms to one side. And then I think the master bedroom and a couple other things to that side, but we'll get there in a minute. Uh, you got a great big island right here. Got a big old lip, put a couple stools, probably fit about four on this side. And you've got that nice farmhouse. Look on the end of the island. We're actually getting ready to get into one. It's right across. Like you can see it through the window right there. Excited about it. I know everybody hates on them, but you know, modern farmhouses, they're still so popular and they are doing so good. Even Jen, you know, she, she loves her, her modern farmhouses too. You can't get away from them. You know what I mean? There's just something homey about it. Just, I don't know, just the rusticness of it, but with like all the modern amenities. We've been, uh, like I said, we've been searching. We, we've started our, our new home search. I like this backsplash too. I think that looks really good. And uh, we've been coming across some really cool, like old timey farmhouse homes. Uh, like these things were built early 1900s, you know what I mean? But uh, Jen's all about that. They're all, you know, redone and got the shiplap all over the place. But still haven't picked one out yet. You got uh, these nice little transom windows up underneath the cabinets. We've been looking. I think we're going to, we've settled on Tennessee. That was our initial, like, no questions asked. We're going to Tennessee. You know what I mean? 
And then from there, it's now it's all right, Tennessee or Kentucky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then from there, we found some barn dominiums in Alabama. Uh, gosh, that, that thing was gorgeous. It was uh, all black. It had a fireplace in the middle. It was two-sided fireplace. And it had, uh, oh, what was it? The kitchen on one side and dining room and then the great room on the other side. And it sat on like, I'm gonna say like 18 acres or something. Oh man, it was gorgeous. Obviously way out of our price range, but anyway, enough rambling. <laughs> the nice big closet in here. This room is huge. So much space in here. Yeah, we're, you know, we're wanting to get on a, a farm, do some Airbnb farm stays, you know what I mean? So once we get it all set up, you guys can come and hang out. Do a little bonfire, hang out with the cows, all that fun stuff. Anyway, into the second bedroom. Again, another big bedroom. This one actually sits on the back side of the home. And then into its closet, nice big walk-in closet in here. Then from here, we'll head to the other side of the house. And this home, I love that it has this powder room right here off of the kitchen. Just a nice space like it's right next to the living room close enough to the kitchen like if you have guests over you know what i mean they can just use this instead of uh going into any of the bedrooms it's just nice if you if you got a lot of people over you know what i mean but then at the end of the hall to the left you got the laundry room washer dryer hookups then you've got the door out back and then on this side, I like this a lot too. Probably put like a little counter over here, but you also have an outlet so you can put a freezer. And then back behind this door, you've got the furnace. Then at the end of the hall, there's a little linen closet. And then into the master bedroom. So this sits back up towards the front of the house again. Nice big room. And then back behind us, there's actually, so it's one big closet. But I'll go ahead and get you over here. Uh, it just has like a his and her door. Nice wood shelves going all the way through. So that's handy and then into the ensuite i actually haven't been in here yet i didn't even turn the lights on oh we do have lights some of these rooms got lights some of them don't anyway hopefully that helps a little bit put the flashlight in my pocket double vanity i love these caged lights i'd like to see those edison lights you know what i mean get rid of those little light bulbs and i know you could do that once you bought the place like once it was yours but uh i just like that gives it more of an industrial look kind of goes with these uh like with the pipes and stuff and then you've got this great big soaking tub nice little shelf above that huge walk-in shower this thing is massive. Got that big old bench over in the corner too. And then into the water closet. So as I was editing, I realized I completely forgot to film the dining room. Got to rambling too much. But anyway, here's a picture in its place. All right, I know I rambled a lot through this one, <laughs> but still let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you do want any more information on this model, you can click the link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that were toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your state or in your area. You can filter them by number of bedrooms, square footage, price, all that fun stuff, and it's all 100% free, so you can go have a field day with it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And with that, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.